My name is Nellie Deutsch and I'd like to show you how you can add Zoom API to your Moodle website. First thing you do is uh, get an account on zoom.us and then uh, what you need to do is uh, confirm that uh, you have a PayPal account or credit card. It doesn't cost anything, which is really amazing. So let me take you to the left here where it says REST API. I'm going to click on that to show you where you get the information once you have an account, of course. So um, this is where you get the information. You simply um, enable your API integration right here. And as you can see, I've already done that. But before you do that, you need to go into your account and under billing, which is here on the left, you don't have to pay anything. You simply need to add your billing information by going into billing information. Now notice I did not add my credit card, but I did add my PayPal account. So you're offered a chance to do both. I suggest you get your PayPal if you have a PayPal account or use your credit card. You don't have to pay a thing. Now, once you do that, you go into your Moodle site. So let me go into one of my Moodle sites. Once you add the plugin, you simply add the information, you add your key and you add your secret and then um, you save and that's it. It's as easy as that. For those of you that don't know how to add a plugin, you simply go to the admin of your site. You go into plugin. So let me do that now. Go into plugins and then install plugins on the left. Go to moodle.org. You need to have your site registered. And then you simply write Zoom in the search plugins. Scroll down until you get to Zoom. There we are. You click on the image, install, or you can download. I prefer to install, but you can also download. And once you download and you have registered your site, you can see I've registered a few sites. You click on install. I'm going. I've already installed it, but I just want to show you the process. You click on your website and um, you can see I've installed but if not you just go through the process let me click on continue and um, and show you what happens once you have zoom in I'm going to go into one of the courses so let me take you there and show you what happens so we've set up zoom and we're going to turn editing on so we can start a zoom activity yes zoom is an activity by going into add a new activity or resource scroll down until we get to the last activity which is zoom and then we're going to click on add it's like any other activity and then we'll give it a topic we'll call it test not testy and then we don't need a description here but um, we'll do it for now recurring uh, it's not a webinar it's just a meeting and then we can we could add a password but we're not going to it's going to be both by telephone and voice over IP and then I'm going to click on enable join before host so students can come in come in before I do and then I'm going to save now I'm going to go in once uh, it's saved you can see it right there there's the zoom click on test wait a few seconds and start the meeting by clicking on the green here and then it takes me to my zoom account there I am and um, you get started with a chat you can record um, you can manage your participants, you can invite participants through your Gmail, Yahoo, or any other email account. There's the uh, audio working there. You can also have a chat, so you can have hi, 
with everyone or once they come in you can decide you can also save the chat at the end zoom is amazing so there's our chat we can also get rid of it bring it back you can screen share and uh, here's my desktop you can also use drawing tools as you share I'm not going to share right now but I suggest you explore and have fun let me stop the recording and notice it says the recorded file will be converted to mp4 when it's ready that's it you can then um, upload it to YouTube and continue this is a free account there are some limitations and you'll learn about them as you go thank you